What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about this soundbar from Samsung. This is the HWK550 and you might have a similar issue with another soundbar from Samsung or maybe even another brand. I'm going to show you how to fix this volume problem that I ran into. I guess it's more of a band-aid than a fix. Maybe it's a permanent fix. It doesn't fix the actual issue per se. Well, anyways, we'll get into it here. So my issue that I'm having right now is when you turn on the sound bar, it'll automatically go up in volume. It just goes up like that. And it go up, 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 up until it goes to the max. And I, if I go down, once I let go, it'll go back up. And I couldn't figure it out. At first, about a couple years ago, I had one of these little candles, decorative candles, is pressing against uh, one of the buttons over here. So on the side here, there's actual buttons for volume and source and all that that you can go up and down so that way you don't have to use a remote. The problem that this is, is the control panel on the volume or this button on the buttons on the actual unit itself. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's bad or something's wrong with it, but that is malfunctioning and not allowing this to stay where the volume is. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on, but I went ahead and fixed it. The only problem is fixing it. You'll no longer be able to use the actual buttons on the, on the sound bar itself. You have to use the remote. So if you don't have the remote, can't find it, this is probably not gonna fix what your problem is. So what, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to get this control panel unhooked from the main board. It's pretty simple. For the most part, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step here, but just know that you're gonna only be able to use remote. You won't be able to use the buttons on the side here if you use it this fix. All right, so what you wanna do at the bottom side here, you got six screws here, Phillips heads, one right there, one right there, 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 one up there, and then one right there. So you're gonna remove those. So at the very bottom, on the bottom side where you connect all your connectors or your plugs and all that, the screws aren't super long by any means. Just be careful when you tighten them in there. Down, so I was wrong. There's actually seven. There's one right here, down inside the valley here, if you can see it. So don't forget about that guy. I'm gonna remove this whole panel so you're gonna kind of try to pry it up. Whoops. Carefully. Can I go easy around the sides here? Without bending it, and then it'll come up. So now you have this ribbon that goes to the control panel over here, and it connects right there. So if you can see right here, there's a gray piece right here. And if you push it down, it'll allow you to pull the ribbon cable out. Now that disconnects this control panel over here and it is no longer in use. So you can go ahead and put this away and you're good to go. So now you can put this back into place and just go a little easy on it. Just kind of set it back in place. Don't force it by any means, but it does require a little bit of effort Make sure it's all the way down, seated on the back, on the whole brim here, and then on the sides here. It's all good. And then you go ahead and put these screws back in. Now, don't tighten these too tight because it is plastic and or screws into plastic. But just make sure they're tight a little bit, and uh, you can go ahead and hook it back up. So now we have disconnected the actual control panel for the volume and source on the side of the unit. And so we go hit power, and it turns on. There's TV. Sorry, request connection to my TV, but once it gets there, now you'll notice the volume just stays where it goes or where, where I leave it. I can adjust it now and I'm good to go. So if you're having issues with your Samsung soundbar where the volume just goes through the roof, you have having issues, just know that there's something wrong with the control panel on the side here, most likely, and you can just unhook the rivet cable from the control, main control panel and it will remove 
access, or at least the control panel access to the volume buttons on the right hand side. And that will no longer work once you're unhook it. I don't need to use it. I never use it. I'll just use the remote or my TV remote. So it's not a big deal to me. And it saved me from buying a new soundbar. This thing works pretty well, so I didn't really want to do that. And that's that. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time.